Greetings, everyone. I hope you all had a very happy Thanksgiving. We're here to go ahead and watch Chapter 13 of The Mandalorian. The Mandalorian journeys to a world ruled by a cruel magistrate who has made a powerful enemy. So, uh, don't know who the magistrate is. That's probably just some person for this episode, is my guess. And uh, hopefully, Ahsoka Tano is the powerful enemy who he has made. He, she, whoever it is. So, let's go ahead and we're going to get to it. There you'll find Ahsoka Tano. Tell her you were sent by bo -Katan. And thank you. Your bravery will not be forgotten. When bo -Katan says your bravery will not be forgotten, it makes me think that they're going to come back to make some big rescue at some point or other in the series. Or at least we're going to see more of them. Is this like a curfew or something? No, it's just a, a raid attack or a warning. Ah, there she is. There she is. It's nice to see white lightsabers in live action. See, what's interesting is what is Ahsoka's mission here? Or what's her goal or just intention? What's her reasoning for being here? Uh, she's pulling us a, a uh, dark... A... Um, Star Killer. You guys ever see like the trailer for uh, Force Unleashed 2? It's pretty similar to that. Man, she is butchering these people, whoever they are. Show yourself, Jedi. I am no Jedi. I've been expecting you. Then you know what I want. Hostages. How many lives is the knowledge I possess worth to you? Surrender or face the consequences. You have one day to decide. Wow, she's really turning the tables on them. One of the things that's really interesting is to see how a character evolves. They're calling her the Jedi, though. Even though she doesn't consider herself a Jedi. He wants his little toy. Is he gonna try to force it off? Well, it used to be a forest planet. It's been scorched. Little radar gun thing. They had those in A New Hope. When the Falcon landed at Yavin 4. It used to be a forest moon. Is this going to be something like the French taunters from Monty Python? It's like a medieval castle. There's people who live inside. But there's a ruler. And there's a castle wall. Goes all the way around. It's like a Star Wars version of a medieval castle with a lord. Please do not speak to them or to any of us. Ruling them by fear. Oh my goodness. Those are like the stocks. Or sticking people up on a pole to hang. My goodness, this is medieval. And of course, inside the main garden, everything looks all beautiful and pristine inside. Of course, it looks so serene and beautiful in here. This target is priceless. A Jedi plagues me. I want you to kill her. 
Oh, that'll be interesting. What, is she going to show off some skill or something? Best card. Of course, he's holding all his cards, too, because he's looking for a Jedi. So, at least he can get some good directions there. What is that thing? I keep it around for luck. Everything is just set up so far. The entire planet is raised. Who could have done that? And why did that happen? I mean, I guess I'm assuming it's the Magistrate who did it, but why? Why was the forest raised? Oh, I think I just saw the owl person. Owl thing, who represents the daughter, the light side. Ahsoka's friend, the owl creature, bird creature. Whoa! Beskar is resistant to lightsabers. I did not know that. She's keeping a good poker face. No wonder the ancient Mandalorians were so effective against them. I didn't know Beskar was resistant to lightsabers. Are they communicating? Through the Force? Grogu and I can feel each other's thoughts. Grogu? Grogu? That's his name? Grogu. He was raised at the Jedi Temple on Coruscant. Many masters trained him over the years. At the end of the Clone Wars, when the Empire rose to power, he was hidden. This, Someone took him from the temple. This is all new. The Force is what gives him his powers. It is an energy field. Created by all living things. That's crazy that he was just one of those things tucked hidden away. The stone Grogu. Stone. He doesn't want the stone. He'll lift his the shiny ball, though. I told you he's stubborn. Try to connect with him. Use your little gear shift ball knob thing. There you go. Formed a strong attachment to you. Attachment. Uh oh. I've seen what such feelings can do to a fully trained Jedi mind. Mm hmm. To the best of us. That's why there's a Jedi code. Morgan Elsa. She plundered worlds, destroying them in the process. Like this one. Yeah, it looks like she's still in business. A Mandalorian and a Jedi? They'll never see it coming. So I'm guessing it's going to be some sort of Trojan entry. He's going to lead her in and then they're going to break out and do something. 
That's just a guess. But yeah, Ahsoka, I think Ahsoka now really understands the whole, the idea of the Jedi Code. So maybe she's choosing to, maybe she's choosing to accept the Jedi Code better now that she's seen what it can do. She's not slaughtering them so much now. Not as she was. Well, okay. Here's where the fun begins. But I am still curious as to what she's actually doing there. And how shot that and how long she's been involved with fighting this person. Execute them. Then go door to door. Please don't. That villager was going to come out and try and do something. Brave but foolish soul. Was that a loath cat? Looked like a loath cat. That was pretty neat. I wonder if they use like Plector Pixel. Plector Pixel lightsabers with her. Vader's Vault did a limited run of Ahsoka lightsabers, uh, Fulcrum lightsabers. Showdown. Okay, so she is going to pull off some skills here with her Beskar staff that now we know can resist lightsabers. Ahsoka better not die. That would be really unhappy if that happened. I mean, I doubt it will, but that would be seriously unhappy if it did. So we've got two showdowns going on at once. The sword fighters and the gunslingers. Force user or not, this is still going to be a pretty interesting battle. Who do you think's going to win? Sounds like you win. <sighs> yep. Can't pull fast ones on him. Behind you. Uh oh. Now tell me, where is your master? Where is Grand well, Admiral this. Thrawn? Oh, look at that. He's going to be the new magistrate. Good. But this belongs with the Mandalorian. Where is he going to keep that, though? <laughs> it's kind of big. Even has medieval music. It It is like a castle. Wake up, buddy. It's time to say goodbye. We just learned his name. I cannot train him. Place Grogu on the seeing stone at the top of the mountain. Then what? If he reaches out through the force, 
there's a chance a Jedi may sense his presence and come searching for him. So she doesn't want to train him because she knows what happens when you train someone who has strong attachments. But she wants somebody else to train him. Okay, so Master. Where is your Master, Grand Admiral Thrawn? Okay, um... I don't know if I'm going to fit this all together. I'm not Star Wars theory. So, um... Last we saw Thrawn, he was taken with Ezra by the creatures who travel through light speed organically. And we never saw them again. And then she told... Um... Uh... Sabine, let's go find Ezra. And we haven't heard from Sabine yet. Um, and we don't know what happened after that. So there's too many... Too many things that I don't think we know yet. Too many blanks. So Thrawn is confirmed to be alive because Ahsoka is looking for him because of his connection with Ezra. Now, it doesn't mean that we know what happened to Ezra yet. And we don't know what happened to Sabine yet. But apparently Thrawn made his way back to New Republic or Imperial Space or whatever, just the, the known galaxy. He apparently made his way back um with or without the Chimera, I don't know, his ship. And either Thrawn escaped from Ezra, or he vanquished Ezra. We don't know. It's hard telling. But it's kind of one of those intellectual cliffhangers where you just you just don't know. You, you've been given clues. Well, no, you, I don't even know if we've really been given clues. We've been told things that have just kind of been thrown out there, which tie into the other series from Rebels and Clone Wars, of course. But all that's been done is name dropped. The plot thickens. The plot thickens, so it will, uh, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be fun. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you have, I hope you enjoyed the episode yourself. I hope you enjoyed my reaction to it. And, um, yeah, we will uh, see you in the next one. So, as always, may the Force be with you.